What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about a few ways that you can use stem separation AI to your advantage. Cause it's not just a great way to get your creative juices going, it can actually serve as a really helpful tool as well. And it's just something I definitely think everyone should have in their toolbox. As a music producer, beat maker, any form of creator. And on top of that, it can actually help you improve your productions as well. Let's talk about it. So one creative way to use it, and this is probably the first thing most people think of when they hear the word stem separation, and that is making remixes. You can pretty much take any song out there in the entire universe and just extract the vocals and make your own remixes. Not only is that a fun challenge of its own, but it's a really great source of inspiration, which can actually help you make more beats. How is that even connected? Like, how can you make more beats? Let me explain. A while back, I had this patch where I was totally uninspired. Everything I came up with, every idea just ended up in a trash bin. And then I just extracted these vocals from this famous song and started making my beat around those vocals, which ultimately just made me come up with an idea much quicker because I didn't have to think too much about where to start or which direction to take. I just had, you know, the vocals as the big focal point. And sometimes that's all you need. This is how it turned out, by the way. Pretty dope. And the next step is just remove those vocals and you're left with a beat that you can send to another artist or upload to your beat store if you have a beat store. But the point is, it definitely helped me get something out much quicker because it kind of got me out of that uninspired patch. Another way to use it is by taking specific elements of a song like the drums, guitars, or something else, isolate them and sample it. I remember before the stem separation days, wait, that sounded like ages ago. In fact, it was just quite recently, but whenever you wanted to sample something, you could only select a certain part of a song, take that entire instrumental. There was no way to isolate the different instruments, but with today's technology, a whole new space has been open. Cause you could take that favorite guitar now, process it alone without having any instruments interfering, which gives you so much more control. For example, I've always wanted to sample this song, Hold The Line, and I've always been a big fan of that guitar. So what I did was I took that guitar alone and made this beat right here. So I mean, you could get really creative with just picking single instruments like that. And I mean, sampling has just reached new heights. It's crazy. A different way to use it is for educational purposes. How you ask? Cause you can dissect songs and you know, break them down and study the sound selections, arrangements, stuff like that. You can analyze, you know, how different songs have been produced more in detail. Think of it like you would pick out the different parts of your car. I bet you, you would have a much better understanding of how that car was built, you know, by seeing which parts they used how they were mounted. Complexity wise, two different words completely, but the principle is the same. So by picking out pieces from a song, you can learn a lot. Those were some educational and creative ways to use it from a music production point of view, but there's also times where it can be really helpful and serve you more as a tool, not only for a musician which is for audio post-production. So you can take old recordings, bad sounding takes, dialogues, and clean them up. Just like you would separate the sounds from a piece of music, it actually works really well for removing background noise too. So you can clean those vocals up first and enhance and process those vocals post, which can really come in handy when working with audio for film, different videos, or even content creation. You know what? I'm actually gonna do this take right now where I simulate the background noise by hitting the chair like this. Super annoying. Thankfully, we're gonna remove this later, so it's all good. All right, that's enough. We're gonna upload this to our website now, isolate the vocals by using the vocals and instrumental setting, and let's check out the difference. So this is the original, like this. Super annoying. And this is without the background noise, like this. Super annoying. It's pretty insane. And the audio quality is pretty much untouched. I mean, there's so many ways that you can use it. You can do mashups take stems from different songs, combine them together, make your own unique dope sounding mashup and just get creative with it. For collaborational purposes, if you're an artist, for example, let's say you recorded a song over a free beat or a temporary instrumental, and then you wanna get those vocals out to a producer who is supposed to replace that beat later, instead of having to go back into the project, export the acapella, maybe it's even locked into a studio you don't have access to, you have to call people, just use the stem separation tool, get the vocals and send them to the producer on the spot. I mean, things like that. I don't think people realize all the different possibilities we have to actually use this to our advantage. We've touched a few different topics here today, but I'm sure there's even more out there. And something tells me some of you guys can think of even more ways to use it that I haven't even mentioned here today. Which if that's the case, 
please put it in the comments because I would love to read it. Would love to try that out. And I bet everyone else watching would appreciate that too. And last thing before we go, guys, don't forget to check out our website. We actually have a really new cool feature, the de-echo feature. Speaking of cleaning up vocals, this thing actually removes echoes and reverb from any vocal tech, which is awesome. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more tips in the future. Like always, guys, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.